Welcome back with me, Brian. We're sitting in my office at my desk and we're going to now examine this mid-18th century book. It is in a splendid modeled full calf binding of the era. Like so, it's part of a large monumental set where each volume more or less stands alone, complete unto itself the contents. It's a compendium covering the history of voyages all throughout history taken uh, around the world. The binding here is really pleasing with marbled end paper and uh, gilt ornamented turn-ins and dentals. The edges are ruled. Uh, we see that there is the half title. The title page here uh, is, this is volume 18, 1768. It's a famous set, well known. <clears throat> this is the volume that focuses on Siberia and Russia. And like so, we see here the contents. And what I want to do now is just very briefly show you the condition. Let's just flip through the book initially to give you an overview of how it, the text block remains, which is to say that it is primarily clean, tight, and sound. There are a profusion of plates uh, which are listed and are all present here. <clears throat> this is that list uh, of all the plates. And in fact, there are 36 of them in total. And that includes things such as this wonderful large folding map here of Iceland, which is quite desirable in and of itself. And there are various engraved view plates of, this is animals of Iceland, including this unicorned animal here. <laughs> uh, right. And so now there's also this large folding plan here of Siberia, northern Russia, Nova Zembla at the top there with a nice cartouche. And here we have another folding plan like so of Siberia and Kamchatka region. Yeah, there it is, the peninsula over here above North Korea and so on. And as we go through, this is what we'll find are various folding plans and views and maps like so. There's a plan there. And here is this plan, idols, temp temple and religious of the Mongols. Okay, here is another one that has both a map and an image, a temple, ancient temple. And that. Of course, at this date, all this paper is handmade paper from pulp to rags. So this is the sort of paper that is all but indestructible, as is the binding. These types of bindings are really sturdy. Uh, from a historical perspective, they are borderline indestructible. <laughs> it's remarkable. Sometimes you'll uh, we've encountered books where both the covers are either detached or missing or something, and the book is just sewn as tight as can be. It's, there's just no way to unsew the book. It's really uh, binders of this era were quite skilled craftsmen. And so I think we've had a very uh, brief overview of the contents to give you some idea. And if this book interests you, it is available online now from me, Brian DeMambro.